stopped short of issuing a, ma a statewide mask mandate, but how does this new strategy impact mask wearing? ABC 4's Nick McGurk live in Salt Lake City with that part of the story tonight. Nick? Well, hi, Emily. It depends on where you live, and then it doesn't depend on where you live. So there's a little bit of a broad strategy here. And then there's also a very pinpointed strategy. Obviously, a lot of folks go into church now. Chances are your church mandates mask wearing already. But there are other indoor areas in certain parts of the state that are going to have mask requirements as well, and that is by state decree. Of course, it has a lot to do with your county and if you're a high transmission rate county. Here's what we know tonight. If you're in one of those high transmission counties, you're required to wear a mask in public indoor settings. You think about gas stations or grocery stores. Also in a high transmission county, you're also required to wear a mask outdoors when physical distancing isn't feasible. And even if you don't live in a high transmission county, you want to listen up here. This is statewide. Any public gathering, we're talking a concert, a movie theater, a sporting event, even a wedding, you have to wear a mask, according to the governor. We spoke to one woman tonight. She has two college grandkids that recently contracted COVID-19. They're at BYU and UVU. She has another grandkid who tested positive as well. What would your message be on masks? Wear them. You're protecting, I'm protecting you, you're protecting me. And it's super important. It's nothing to sneeze at. It's important. These, these kids have been really sick. So my vote is whatever it takes. I'm generally against mandates to do certain things, but uh, I think it's a good idea for people to wear masks. Now, if your county already has a mandate, this won't change anything. Utah County, Salt Lake County, they have mask mandates already. The county-wide mask mandates, they will apply, and then the government has a statewide requirement now as well based on transmission rates. You know that government buildings are still going to have mandates, schools still have mask mandates. And here's the reality, too. If you have a high transmission county, you stay in that category for at least two weeks until numbers drop. We're live in Mill Creek. I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News. Thank you, Nick.